Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series, hello, of Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as my horse finds the way across the little... There it is, the forest, the little... I, I don't know the names of small forests. There's a name for that, I'm sure. What are we doing today? We are gonna interrogate the captain at Mirya here. Where, where's that? Wait, 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 wait. Where? Right there. Why? Why? Why'd you give me that? Oh, this is gonna be tricky, isn't it? Mmm, sort of. Why does it not tell me exactly where he is? It's a captive. Do you, do you run away? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe it did. It's been, uh, it's been a couple of days. I think it's been more than a couple of days, probably like five days uh, since I recorded the last episode. So, uh, let's find about this together and uh, follow the marker because we are on the back of a, a really, oh, let's, no, a really involved quest line. And so now we continue because this is another one. I think this is going to be another really involved quest as well. Okay, best way to get across. Dang it. Okay. We have been here before. Hello, there you are. See, best way to get Roach past this. Although... Hmm. This is not dangerous at all. Oh, that was cool. I like I like that. Just coming coming out on on this uh onto this uh big plane. I didn't touch you, shut up. <laughs> Probably some rock that jumped up. It wasn't, it was just bad collision detection, but uh, let's pretend it was the rock. Avoid What was he saying? Burger! Good. Oh, oh the game saved. Okay. What's going on? Why? Do you see that? Did you see this? Punished for what? What are you doing? Oh, leave me be. I want to sleep. Mother of God, I can't bear the pain. What's going on? Go. Go away, leave me alone. No, this is not trespassing. Mama. I don't see anybody. I hear something back here. Oh, there, there it is. Big face, always big face. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! God be with you. What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by oh, the yeah. brigands, barely come out of that alive. And now, the plague. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It's a gruesome sight. So yeah, they, they got attacked. This, one, this was the village that... Um, that... Uh, uh, defended against uh, another an attack like the one, well, like the from the guys that that like the ones that we attacked a couple of episodes ago, or was the last episode as well, I think. Um, and that's you know I should have figured, but you know for people to be all sick, that would be the plague, of course. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then, the disease came. Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Skullets was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. They have. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young straw, something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? That's right, you're not from around here, are you? 
Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smil from the Neuhof stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandits saw to that. His old man isn't taking it well. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The whole stud, livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed, and it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother. More and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias. The brigands got him. Poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Nah, he should be able to fix him. Thanks. That'll be all for now. <laughs> That'll be all. I need to talk to that captive. Sorry. No one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. But I'm Sir Radzig Kobbler's envoy, and I urgently need to question the captive. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. I can't let you in. If you want to talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. May the Lord watch over you. Do I have to do that, though? Because I'm you're telling me the game is programmed so that you can't talk to him unless you get permission from Melikar. Because I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. Because I can just kill you anywhere, and... Yeah, so I need to be at the, the main gate of the stud farm. It's a pretty serious village. I don't remember coming here. And, uh, and doing much. Is this the gate? Is this the stud farm? Maybe. It looks like it. Do you guys not have studs anymore? Did they all die? There's fire back there, what the heck? What's going on? Hey, are you... In good health, dear. Huh, that's straight. Um, I don't think I can sell much. Oh, sure, sell all the crappy apples. Why am I carrying these? Hmm. Cabbage, I wanted to eat, that's why. Okay, let's see. So in terms of weapons, we have a lot of arrows, which is good. Uh, but I need to sort this by that. So that way we have these, which are probably the ones that I'm going to... Trader has quite a lot of money, so that's good. Uh, these are too many. Let's go with that. And okay. Yeah, that's okay. Good. And then in terms of armor, in terms of food, we got a bunch of this crap. At least he pays something for it, doesn't it? Yeah, he does pay a little bit. And then we have the rest of the stuff that doesn't really matter. Um, hmm. Interesting. Those have uh, quality. Sure. Uh, check the basket. Haggle. See if we can less bring that. Less stock. Less stock. Less stock. Aw, oh, probably too much. Since... Too much indeed, I know. Let's see, let's see if he likes this. He does. See now. There it is. What the heck is going on in here? It's the plague place. Oh, this is probably bad to be around here. I mean, I don't I wouldn't know. They're burning the livestock. So is this supposed to be how I could come into town and just see that? It might be. There's more smoke, but I think that's just the normal smoke of the house and all that. It's just a guard. It's quite a lovely place, to be honest. Got a little bit of a wash. And we have ourselves a food stand place in here. So this would be the stud farm. And then we have that house and we have this house. Let's go in. See if it's any of these. 
Doesn't look right. Oh, well, they're marked. Pig face. Why am I not pig faced yet? Man, I'm really hungry. That's straw. He doesn't talk, though. Why? Why doesn't he talk? Hi. Lord, please end this. Oh. What? No. Go away. Ah. Yep. That's his mother. Didn't didn't they tell? Oh, that sign might must be the um, the plague sign. Better explain things. I'm here just for for the experience. Oh, and the Groshan as well. Now that I'm at it. What? Please. Don't scare Jeez. me. Okay. Okay. Do you need to be killed or something? This is... That's not what she's asking for, is it? Hey, you don't talk. Do I need to sit? Uh, yes, bury your face in that. Okay. Why does it give me the inventory there? Sit down over here. Maybe. Nope. That is not what I need to do. Get up. Let's talk to the prisoner first. Maybe maybe then we can talk to Straw. So at least we know where his house is. And I believe this is the other one. Somehow I need to get in here. There it is. Plague. Hi. That's Danielle. Can't talk to you though. Okay. I'm trespassing. It's a villager. Hey. Ah, shit. Son of. Hey, hey. What? Brother, hey, hey. Oh, what there's somebody up here. Hi. Everybody's dying. Uh, what? No, uh. no way. Mm-hmm. Might be in the wrong house. Interesting. Okay. Okay, we're good. Just don't know where to go. That's fine. Okay, let's look at our quests. And uh, see. So, I need to talk to Matthias. That is marked on the map. Was I really... That turned around? Apparently I was. Or maybe he's not home. Because he seems to be here in the actual stud farm. Yep. No, that's Johan. What the heck is he? Oh! Hey, there he is. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail. And now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I'm confused about whether Straw died or not. I was confused as well in the previous uh, dialogue, but now I'm more... Who was that guy that we couldn't talk to when we went to his house? Either way. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Malachar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. 
Lives have been lost. First the raid and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. I hear one of the raiders was... Okay, there goes what? back was to that. that? I, had I understand Old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck, then. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. Well, that explains it. About this sickness, when did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain you of do. fever and shakes. <laughs> Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What, well, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. You do. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Because it's not at his home. About this... Oh, no, 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 it's not what I want. Can I ask you a bit about Merho yet? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about Old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Oh, so that's how he goes. to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? I've been there. When you take the main gate out of... Okay, it's good. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I oh, know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Melikar. Since when do subjects govern a village in place of the Lord? What can we do? If it weren't for Malachar, those bandits would have torched the place to the ground. The villagers won't follow anyone else. It's actually quite common for that to happen. Well, not quite. No, it's not uncommon for that to happen. Let's go with that. What's Malachar? The locals look... Okay, so that goes back to that. And I can say... Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. What well, the heck's that? Where does Malachar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Melikar lives in the left-hand one. In the left-hand one, you say. The main gate out of the stables. So this one. I see cottages forever. Look at all the cottages I see. If I go up, look at that. It must be that one over there. That's not one. It must be that one. I, I'm kidding. It's probably this one. Uh, so we need to go destroy... I mean, I suppose it's this one. Because the directions are really vague. There is a marker over here, so I'll go ahead and do that. Wasn't me. Ooh. Good. That's Melikar. Big face? Absolutely. Well, try to be. Finally! Whew. Hi. Okay, I'm not gonna l lock big you these things. Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Sir Adzig won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. 
No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to. If she's, if still she's alive. actually there. And still alive. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. Probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. No, if I have matter. to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. <clears throat> They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. So that's that. We need to go and talk to people? Is that what it is? What? She doesn't care about any conversation here. Hi, excuse me. Go, go away, leave me alone. I will. Might as well get the locks. No. What are you punishing me for? Okay, so. Okay. I need to go. Ooh, there's, there's two areas that I need to explore. My God, this is a complex mission. Okay, let's uh. He said he daubed lime. Hey, it's Vincent. Jesus, lad, what, what are you doing here? Is this? Can't you see the play Jesus. cross on the door? No, I'm here because sorry. of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Uh, apart from the fever? Uh, well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. Uh, I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, we He doesn't do have it. your thanks. He has the I flu. have one favor to ask. He has the flu, most likely. I can't stand so tell it me. anymore. I need to write my will. Can you write? I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Janowitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, the layabout and good for nothing, inherit a single groschen. All customs and traditions aside. Um, I can't stand it anymore. Should I write that too? Yes. And then write The executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the uh, Church of St. Martin in Sasa. Uh, Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Uh, Henry. Presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Sweet mother you can You can never be sure nowadays. I... Okay. Your son Elijah. What did he do to you? Christ Almighty! Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? I'm writing the Everything. will! <laughs> he was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. Then he didn't get married, did he? Fucker. Not the everything. We heard he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? In St. Martin's Church, of course. 
All right, Make I'll head off then. Stop. Yes, go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? I don't know, dude. I don't know. But I do know that we're out of time for the day, so uh, let's find out next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been a villager over here. This has been Kingdom Come Deliverance. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.